Someone asked me today, how do I set up QoS on Microsoft Teams rooms? And there isn't any, really any good documentation about that. So this video is gonna give a high level overview of that. If you want to learn more about QoS and networking with Microsoft Teams, I recommend you watch the second module of the Teams Rooms Foundations training, which is five hours of in-depth Teams Rooms training, as opposed to these five minute videos. So let's look at QoS. Here I have a packet capture that was done on my Teams Rooms system. And we can see this is the IP address of Teams Rooms. This is out in Microsoft land. UDP port 3480, so this is video. And when we look at in Wireshark here, we go to IPv4, differentials, our differentiated services field, D DSCP markings, nothing. It's all zeros and nothing. So how do we set this up so that we can have QoS markings? So the first thing to do is go to Teams Admin Center, and technically you don't have to do this, but uh, it makes life a little easier, uh, and you'll see why here. Uh, for example, I just showed 3480 was the port for uh, video. So here, um, we, have, we set this on, we turn this on, and then uh, that, that'll enable QoS uh, for Apple, uh, sorry, for iOS and Android and mobile apps automatically. It will not do it for Windows. And then here are the source ports that we can define. I'm gonna leave it at default, but you'll see in the uh, Wireshark, the source port uh, in here is 50,026, and 50,026 falls here in video. So we can see that these are taking effect. So go to meeting settings, network, turn on QoS, and wait a while, restart your clients, they'll eventually pick up the change, and off we go. This is a standalone Teams Rooms in workgroup mode. So I did not set up a group policy. I just set up something directly on this Teams Rooms by going to local group policy editor, which you can get to by gpedit.msc. So if you just run gpedit.msc, and it'll bring that up. Here you can see I created the QS policies for audio sharing and video. And this is all straight out of uh, the article from Microsoft. You can go to aka.ms QOS in Teams and it'll talk you through uh, a lot of this. So I set the DSCP value for 46 for audio. The application name on Teams Rooms is teams.exe. So that is what you'll want to use. And then IP addresses, any, any and uh, protocol and ports. And this is the source port range that we saw here on this web page. So in the Teams Admin Center, that's where these values come from. Now I was just playing with uh, showing video. Uh, so again, we're gonna set it to 34 and this port range for teams.exe. So now that I've turned on QoS, let's see if it takes off. And so here we have port 3480. And we can see that now we do have 34 assigned as our QoS value. So there's a lot more to QoS, there's a lot more to this topic, but for setting it up for Teams Rooms, you can take what you did here, either do what I did and just set it up on a single work group joined Teams Rooms, or set this up, create a group policy in Active Directory and push this down to your, o your dedicated OU that holds your Teams Rooms servers.